Well, Aaron, I really appreciate you being here today. And I know that you had some feelings and some thoughts about some issues with your mom that you wanted to talk about. I'm having a lot of difficulty dealing with the recent loss of my mom. My mom died a few months ago. <coughs> and before she died, there was about a year and a half that I didn't have any contact with her. And I'm having a lot of trouble dealing with that. I was close with my mom for my entire life, but for the year and a half prior to her death, she didn't have any contact with me. Fortunately, I was able to see her the week before she died, but still didn't feel any of the pain that I felt for the year and a half that she didn't have contact with me. I'm hoping that um, you'll be able to help me get through some of the emotion that I'm feeling, help me resolve some of that pain by talking about it and coming to terms with it. Okay, so even as you're talking, I can see the look in your face and that the feelings are really near the surface and there's really a lot of pain in there for you. A lot of pain. Basically, like I said, my mom and I were close for my entire life. She had trouble with, with relationships with my siblings and I was the one that I was stuck up for. And um, about two years ago, she was diagnosed with terminal disease and I decided to have a family reunion at um, a hotel on the Outer Banks. And I invited my entire family for my family reunion and she did something very hurtful to one of my siblings. And I didn't stand up for my mom. And as a result of that, she decided to cut all communication with me and didn't attend the family reunion. I actually hired a photographer to take a family picture of everyone so that we would have that remembrance of her knowing that she only had a couple of years to live. My mom did not attend the family reunion. Everybody else was there, so now I have this picture of the whole family, but not my mom. I'm having a lot of trouble. Looking at the picture, knowing that I wasted a year and a half of my, of my life not having her in my life, and now it's too late to make amends. So it feels like you had this potential time to be with her, and then she cut off communication with you, and so you're really missing having that closure with her. Yeah, knowing that it's too late to do anything. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that maybe we need to have a conversation with her and talk with her about how you're feeling. And that's something we can do here with this chair as if she was here. What do you think about that? Pretend she's here? Yep, definitely. I can try that, I guess. Okay, well, yeah, maybe you can talk to her, to your mom. What do you usually call her? Uh, I have a nickname. Well, we all have a nickname. We call her Muzz. It sounds funny, I know, but that's her nickname, Muzz. Okay. Well, does that bring up some emotion when you say the name? Can you say that a few times? Muzz? Hi, Muzz. Hi, Muzz. Oh, okay, you go. You can just um, go with that. Go with the feelings. Say hi to Muzz. Hi, Muzz. Hi, Muzz. And if you can put words to some of the feelings that you're having. Okay, so I know how much you miss her. And if you can put words to that and talk to her, tell her. Hi, Muzz. Hi, Muzz. First, I love you, miss you terribly, and I missed the past year and a half. Can you tell her, can you say to her, I've been cheated out of that past year and a half? I feel cheated out of the past year and a half. I feel cheated out of the family reunion. I feel cheated out of the experiences of our entire family could have had. Can you tell her how angry you are at her? I'm not good at expressing anger. Can you try it? I'm really not good at expressing anger. Okay. I'm hurt. Okay, well tell her about it. You know, I feel hurt. I feel hurt that I was the only child that always stuck up for you. When everybody else turned their back on you, I was the only one that was stuck up for you. Okay, so tell her. I stuck up for you and you turned your back on me. I stuck up for you and you were the only... And you were the one that turned your back on me. And I don't think I deserve that. And tell her how much you miss her. I miss you and I wish I could take back the past two years. I really do. I would give anything to take them back. It's so petty now. I wish I could take it back, but I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I got to say goodbye to you because that's the only thing I can look back on now and be grateful about because I truly don't think I could. I truly don't think I could deal with any of this now if I didn't have the opportunity to say goodbye to you. So did you have that opportunity? Yes. So a lot of the feelings that you're having is not around your closure, saying goodbye. It's more around the feelings you have, have missed that year and a half and all with her. Yes, exactly. Okay, and do you ever think what about what she'd say back to you if she was here? Well, my stepfather told me a few months ago, he actually came to visit me and he said, Aaron, I just want you to know that your mom loved you very much, you know? And that meant a lot to me. So I totally think that she was just, you know, stubborn. I don't think she meant to hurt me. I think she was just stubborn and had difficulty making the first move, you know? I, I kind of hear how much you loved her. Oh, very much. And maybe you can tell her one last time how much you loved her and how much you regret not having that time with her. 
Muzz, I love you. I do regret wasting the past year and a half of your life. I'm glad we all had those years, and I'm glad we had all those photographs. I'm glad that I have Joe, my stepdad, and I promise that I will not waste any more years with him. Okay, and I, I, I sense a feeling, I sense and feel the loss that you feel from not having that year and a half. It's going to be an ongoing issue for you. I hope you can continue to have conversations with your mom, maybe through a chair, through journaling, and other ways so that you can keep, uh, so that you can help to resolve some of those feelings that you have. Thank you. Very helpful. Well, I look forward to hearing how you do that with our next session. Thank you.